Hello everyone, welcome to Imam Private School. Today I'm going to do a revision on Unit 4, Visiting a Film Studio. Let's start. Before we begin the review, remember the present symbol. Present symbol expresses habits and daily routines. What is the form of the present symbol? What is the form of the present symbol? Number one, if the subject is singular, we add S or ES or IES to the verb. If the subject is singular, we add S or ES or IES to the verb. For example, number one, she listens to music. She listens to music. Number two, she feeds the birds. She feeds the birds. Number three, the man takes a nap. The man takes a nap. Number two, if the subject is plural, we don't add anything to the verb. If the subject is plural, we don't add anything to the verb. For example, Number one, I get a something. I get a something. Number two, we have a car accident. We have a car accident. Number three, they drive a sports car. They drive a sports car. We add ES when the verb ends in SH, CH, SS, O. X. For example, number one, wash. Because this verb ends in sh, so we will add es to this verb, so the verb will be washes. Washes. Number two, watch. Watch. Because this verb ends in ch, so we will add es to this verb, and so the verb will be watches watches number three cross cross because this verb ends in ss ss so we will add es to this verb and the verb will be crosses crosses number four go go because this verb ends in o so we will add es to this verb and the verb will be goes goes number five fix fix because this verb ends in x so we will add es to it so the verb will be fixes fixes when the verb ends in y preceded by a consonant we change it into i and then add es for example carry the verb carry ends in y and before y consonant the letter r here is a consonant so we will omit y and add ies so the verb will be carries carries Another verb is study, study. Because this verb ends in Y and before Y consonant, the little D here is a consonant, so we will omit Y and turn it into I and add ES, so the verb will be studies, studies. Let's talk about the auxiliary verbs. What are the auxiliary verbs of the present symbol? What are the auxiliary verbs of the present symbol? Yes, do, does, followed by infinitive. Do and does plus infinitive. Do takes the plural pronouns such as or like. 
I, they, we, you. But thus takes the singular pronouns like he, she, it. Again, the auxiliary verbs of the present symbol yes, do and does plus infinitive. Infinitive here is the verb in the infinitive form, a verb that in additions, a verb that we don't add anything to it. We don't add es or ing or ed. For example, number one, Ala doesn't cook or cooks food. Ala doesn't cook or cooks food. Yes. What's your answer? Yes, the answer will be cook. Cook. Because doesn't is an auxiliary verb in the negative form and it's followed by infinitive. Number two, do you talk or talks on the phone? Do you talk or talks on the phone? Yes, what's your answer? Yes, talk, because do is followed by infinitive. Do is followed by infinitive. Number three, they don't signs or sign autographs. They don't signs or sign autograph don't hear is an auxiliary verb in the negative form so it will be followed by infinitive so what's your answer yes excellent sign sign what are the key words of the present symbol number one always always number two usually usually number three often often number four sometimes sometimes number five hardly ever hardly ever number six never never when you find these adverbs in any sentence or any choice so in this case you will know that is a present symbol for example number one I never put on makeup I never put on makeup we use these adverbs before the main verb so I in this sentence I use never before the verb put on number two she always talks on the phone she always talks on the phone number three the actor usually signs autographs the actor usually signs autographs it's time for word time let's revise the important words or the important expressions that you have studied in this unit number one drive a sports car drive a sports car number two put on makeup put on makeup Number three, wear a wig. Wear a wig. Number four, get a sunburn. Get a sunburn. Number five, take a nap. Take a nap. Number six, listen to music. Listen to music. Number seven, Sign autograph. Sign autograph. Number eight. Talk on the phone. Talk on the phone. Number nine. Have an accident. Have an accident.
Let's practice. Question number one. Listen and circle. Listen and circle. In this question, in number one and two, you have two answers. I'll say the questions and answers, and you will put a circle on the answers you hear. But in number three and four, you have two questions. I'll say the questions and answers, and you will put a circle on the questions you hear. Listen to me carefully and put a circle. Number one, how often does Mona sign autographs? Mona never signs autographs. How often does Mona sign autographs? Mona never signs autographs. Number two, does Ale get a sunburn? Yes, she does. Does Ale get a sunburn? Yes, she does. Number three, who is calling? It's Ahmed Shawi. Who is calling? It's Ahmed Shawi. Number four, where did they go? They went to Alex. Where did they go? They went to Alex. Question number two, listen and complete. Listen and complete. In this question, you will listen to a dialogue between Salwa and a man. They are talking on the phone. Salwa and this man are talking on the phone. Salwa wants to talk to Ahmed, but he isn't here. Ahmed isn't here. So Salwa leaves a message for Ahmed. Listen to me carefully and write the missing word. Salwa, hello, may I speak to Ahmed, please? Hello, may I speak to Ahmed, please? Man, he isn't in right now. He isn't in right now. Salwa, what time will he be back? What time will he be back? Man, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Salwa, can you take a message? Can you take a message? Man, sure. Who is calling? Sure. Who is calling? Salwa, this is Salwa Camel. I'm going to be late for lunch. This is Salwa Camel. I'm going to be late for lunch. Question number three. To the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. In this question, I'll ask you to think carefully before you choose the correct answer. Number one, may I space to Ahmed, please? May I speak? Help? Play, go, speak, help, play, go. Yes, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. Speak, speak. Number two, he isn't in space now. He isn't in right, left, right, late. He isn't in right left right late yes what's your answer yes excellent right right number three what time will he be space by back black back by back black back what's your answer yes what's your answer excellent back back number four i'll space him your message i'll gives giving give gave i'll gives 
giving, give, gave. Yes, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. Give. Why? Because will here is followed by infinitive. Infinitive, a verb without any additions. Number five, I'm going to be late. Space, lunch today. I'm going to be late from or for of on. I'm going to be late from for of on. Yes, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. For for number six, we are going to eat dinner at a nice space theater school restaurant bridge theater school restaurant bridge yes you eat in what's your answer yes excellent restaurant restaurant number seven they always sign space they always sign books notebooks rulers autographs books notebooks rulers autographs what's your answer yes excellent autographs autographs number eight my brother is an he works in a studio my brother is an space he works in a studio my brother is a tourist dentist teacher actor tourist dentist teacher actor yes who is the person who works in a studio yes what's your answer yes actor excellent actor number nine he always space awake he always wear wear wearing wears wear wear wearing wears yes this is a sentence in the present symbol and he here is singular so we add s or es or ies to the verb so your answer will be yes what's your answer yes wears wears number 10 they were making an adventure space at the studio they were making an adventure wick film accident some per wick fell accident some per yes what's your answer excellent film they were making an adventure film question number four circle the old one out and replace it with a correct one in this question you will put a circle on the old word and replace it with another word that goes with the rest number one always usual often never always usual often never yes what is the old one yes excellent usual usual because usual is an adjective but the other words are adverbs so you will replace it with any other adverbs like usually usually number two can bottle water loaf can bottle water loaf yes what is the old one yes excellent the old one here is water because water is a drink 
but the other words are containers so you will replace it with any containers like pool number three take sign gets talk take sign gets talk yes what is the old one yes excellent gets because gets here is a verb but we add to this verb is but the other words are in the infinitive form the other words are verbs in the infinitive form so you will replace it with any verb in the infinitive form like get number four studio citadel theater nice studio citadel theater nice yes what is the old one yes excellent nice because nice is an adjective but the other words are places so you will replace it with any place like school number five dentist teach actor driver dentist teach actor driver yes what is the old one yes excellent teach because teach is a verb but other words are jobs so you replace it with any job like teacher teacher number six you myself herself himself you myself herself himself yes what is the old one yes excellent you because you is a pronoun or a subject pronoun but the other words are reflexive pronouns so you will replace it with any reflexive pronouns like yourself yourself number seven wig makeup something have wig makeup something have yes what is the old one yes excellent have because have here is an verb in the infinitive form but the other words are noun so you replace it with any noun like yes autograph question number five read and answer the questions read and answer the questions in this question i'll ask you to read the passage carefully to answer the fun questions I read the passage and I ask you to follow me. Thank you for your nice letter. I'm happy you like my films. Yes, I often sign autographs. It's my favorite thing to do. I like my hair too, but I sometimes wear a wig. I'm going to make my next film at the train station in Cairo. You can come and watch. This is a kind of email. This email is about an actress. This actress is talking to her friend. Question A. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. In this question, I'll ask you to read the passage again in order to put a circle on the correct answer. Number one. She signs autographs. She usually, sometimes, hardly often she usually sometimes hardly often signs autographs yes what's your answer yes she often she often signs autographs number two she sometimes wears a wig dress makeup sumper she sometimes wears a wig dress makeup sunburn yes what's your answer yes excellent wig she sometimes wears a wig exercise b answer the fun questions answer the fun questions i'll ask you to read the email again and try to answer the questions don't forget to write a complete sentence Question number three, can her friend come and watch the film? 
Can her friend come and watch the fall? Yes, who answered? Who answered? Yes, excellent. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Number two, what is Emmy's next phone? What is Emmy's next phone? Emmy is the actress. This is the name of the actress in this email. What is Emmy's next phone? Yes, what's your answers? Excellent. It's at the train station. It's at the train station. Question number six. Rearrange the following. In this question, I'll ask you to read these sentences or questions carefully and try to put the words in the correct order. Number one, having good a time in I am Alexandria. In this sentence, I'll ask you to begin your sentence with the word that is capitalized, the word that has a capital letter. So you will begin with I am. Yes, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. I'm having a good time in Alexandria. I'm having a good time in Alexandria. Number two, library. We, Alexandria, visited yesterday. You will begin with the pronoun we. So, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. We visited Alexandria library yesterday. We visited Alexandria library yesterday. Number three, they all studio of films, kinds, at, make, this. The sentence you will begin with the pronoun they. Yes, what's your answer? Yes, they make all kinds of films in this studio. They make all kinds of films in this studio. Number four, watch it. Actors, the, we, rehearse. You will begin the sentence with the word, yes, we. We. What's your answer? Yes. We watch it. The actors rehearse. We watch it. The actors rehearse. Number five. We are to eat nice dinner at a going restaurant. We'll begin with the word. Yes, we are. So, what's your answer? Yes, we are going to eat nice dinner at a restaurant. We are going to eat nice dinner at a restaurant. Number six, an actor make, put, doesn't, on, up, by himself. You will begin with an actor. Yes, what's your answer? An actor doesn't put on makeup by himself. An actor doesn't put on makeup by himself. Number seven, taking is a the man nap. You'll begin your sentence with the man. So, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. The man is taking a nap. The man is taking a nap. Number eight, drives he a sports often car. Yes, you'll begin with the pronoun he. So, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. He often drives a sports car. He often drives a sports car. Number nine, hardly they ever and have accident. You will begin with the pronoun they. So, what's your answer? Yes, excellent. They hardly ever have an accident. They hardly ever have an accident. Number ten, does ever get a he sumper you, you will begin with the auxiliary verb does this is a question so what's your answer yes excellent does he ever get a sunburn 
Does he ever get a sunburn? Question number seven. Write an email to your friend Roddy about your visit to a film studio. Your name is Mustafa and your email is Mustafa23 at yahoo.com. Your friend's email is Roddy457 at yahoo.com. In this question, I'll ask you to write an email. Before writing the email, you have to know the steps of writing the email. Number one, you will write the word to and from and subject and dear on the left. You will write the word to. Number one, to. To, you will write the person who will write the email to. Don't forget to write his email. The person who will you write the email to in this email is Roddy and his email is 457 at yahoo.com. Number two, from. From. From the person who writes the email. email. And don't forget to write his email too. ما تنساش برضو تكتب ايه الايميل بتاعه يبقى الشخص اللي كتب الايميل وتكتب ايميله and the person who write the email here is Mustafa and his email is 23 at yahoo.com number three subject what is this email about what is the subject of this email ايه موضوع الايميل موضوع الايميل هنا my visit to a film studio a visit to a film studio. Number four, dear. You will write the word dear and after it you will write the person who will send the email to. هتكتب كلمة dear وبعدها هتكتب الاسم الشخص اللي انت هتبعت له الايميل. Number five, you will write any greeting. هتكتب اي تحية. Like, how are you and your family? I miss you so much. How are you and your family? I miss you so much. After that, you will write the sentences. You will write the sentences. How to be gumal? How to be in email bitaik an e? Before you write the sentences, you have to write any sentence with capital letter. To to be any gumla with half capital. And in the sentence with full stop. Your sentences will be related to each other. You have to write the sentences related to each other. sentences The ideas have to be related to each other. You have to write the sentences. In the same tense, in the عليك اللي أنت تكتب كل الجمل في نفس الزمن كل الجمل زمن واحد ما تكتبش أكتر من زمن في الإيميل. Your sentences will be yes. Number one, yesterday I visited a film studio. Number two, it was very big. Number three, I saw a lot of actors. Number four. The actor wore a wig. Number five, he put on makeup. Number six, he signed autographs. Number seven, it was cool. After that, you will write any conclusion. Had to be a Like, see you soon. See you soon. At last, you will write the word yours. And you will write your name or the name of the person who writes this email. email. And the name of this person in this email is Mustafa. So you will say yours Mustafa. Yours Mustafa. Before we punctuate any sentence or any question, you should follow these rules. Number one. Begin the sentence or the question with a capital letter. نبدأ الجملة أو السؤال بحرف كبير. Number two. 
end the sentence with plus top ننهي الجملة بنقطة number three end the question with a question mark ننهي السؤال بعلامة استفهام number four capitalize or write the following with capital letters هناك أشياء أخرى يمكن أن تكتب بحرف كبير like number one days of the week أيام الأسبوع like Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday and so on number two Names of people like Ale, Russia, Mona, Marwa, and so on. Number three, countries. A ballot like America, Tanta, Egypt. Number four, months of the year, شهر السنة, like March, April, May. Number five, languages, لغات, like Arabic, English, science, math. And so on. Number six, important places. Let me give him like the pyramids, the Egyptian Museum, the Cairo Tower, and so on. Let's practice the punctuation rules in question number eight. Punctuate the following. Number one. Can you take a message, please? Can you take a message, please? I will capitalize the letter C in the word can because it is the beginning of the question. And put a comma before the word please and put question mark at the end of the question. Number two, yes, I always listen to music. Yes, I always listen to music. I will capitalize the letter Y in the word yes because it is the beginning of the sentence and put comma after it I w and capitalize the letter I and put full stop at the end of the sentence number three where is your mobile Ahmed where is your mobile Ahmed I will capitalize the letter W in the word were because it is the beginning of the question and put apostrophe before the letter S because it is the abbreviation of S and put the comma before the word Ahmed because when you address someone you put comma before it and when you address someone put a comma before it and capitalize the letter A in Ahmed because it's a name and put question mark at the end of the question Number four, do Ahmed and Hani ever drive a sports car? Do Ahmed and Hani ever drive a sports car? I will capitalize the letter D in do because it is the beginning of the question and capitalize the letter A in Ahmed and the letter H in Hani because they are names and put question mark at the end of the question. I hope my revision will be nice and clear. Don't forget to follow us on our channel and email in private school. Until we meet again, thank you and goodbye.